Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be spring cleaning my living room. spring clean my living room but before I do if you are new to my channel then hello and welcome it's lovely to have you here and if you like these kind of videos and would like to see more then I upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday at 7 a.m. so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So today I'm going to be spring cleaning my living room and I'm going to be using some really good organic and natural cleaners to do that. This is part of a series, so I've already cleaned my kitchen, the TV room and Ted's toys. So I thought this was the next logical place to move on to. So today I'm gonna to be cleaning using these organic and natural cleaners. Um, these are really great, I have used these in previous videos videos and I really like them and today I'm going to be doing things like cleaning under the sofas I was going to be cleaning the windows inside and out but unfortunately it's raining so outside we'll probably have to wait but I'm also going to be cleaning the marble and the TV cabinet as well and I will be hoovering the floors using um, organic essential oil in the vacuum cleaner so I'll show you how I do that as well. So here is how I've spring cleaned my living room. So to begin the spring cleaning I'm starting with the TV cabinet. So I give the top a wipe with the method polish. I've used this polish in previous videos. It's a non-toxic, all-natural cleaner that contains no chemical nasties. So it's great to use in my living area where my son spends a lot of his time when he's not at school. Then I'm going to dust inside the cabinet. I've brought baskets that I'm going to put the controllers in. That way they are clean and tidy and all in one place. I'm not going to dust inside the drawers as my husband has this the way he wants it. So, I'm just going to dust around the outside, then I'm going to dust inside the other cupboard. Once the dusting is done, I move on to cleaning the glass doors in this cabinet. I've decided to use warm soapy water with a little bit of organic essential oil. I'm using the Circa washing up liquid that I've used to clean my back windows, as it did a really lovely job. The door on the right was particularly dirty, so it was really good to give it a clean. I then used an old newspaper to dry the doors with. I find newspaper doesn't leave any smears or marks when drying with it. So once this job is done, I then move on to cleaning the fireplace. So to clean the fireplace, I'm using an organic kitchen cleaner. As on the back of the packet, it says it cleans marble. So I thought I would give it a try on this fireplace. It has done a good job, although to get the stickers that my son kindly stuck on here, I had to use a scraper from the kitchen. It took a little bit more elbow grease, but I got there in the end. Also, I used the scraper to remove the unsightly wax from the floor of the fireplace, and then I swept with a dustpan and brush. Then I sprayed the kitchen cleaner all around the fireplace. The kitchen spray made the fireplace very clean and again it was good to use a non-toxic cleaner in a room where my son spends a lot of his free time. I then moved all of the items that I had removed from the fireplace back to where they came from. Next I moved on to cleaning the small coffee table. As I mentioned before, I do have cleaners once a week but they tend to clean the basics. So every so often, I like to do a deep clean. So I'm also going to clean the base of this table with the Method Cleaner. It's a great cleaner and it smells just like Cherry Bakewell Tart. Once I've cleaned the table, I then move on to cleaning the windows. The soapy water and cloth I've used to clean the glass doors on the TV cabinet I'm now going to use to clean the windows. So to recap, I've used a couple of drops of the Circare washing up liquid and a couple of drops of lemon essential oil. Again, the Circare washing up liquid 
contains nothing that can irritate the skin. So it's good to be using it in a room where my son spends a lot of his time. While I'm here, I'm also cleaning the frames as well. When I've cleaned the windows, I then dry them with the newspaper. It's the most effective way to clean windows. As the newspaper doesn't leave any smears or streaks on the glass. I repeat the process with all of the other windows. Next, I'm going to clean the slates on the blinds. But instead of cleaning every one individually, I'm going to use a pair of tongs and dusters. So I have wrapped the dusters around the tong ends and I've used elastic bands to keep them in place. Now I'm going to clean the slats by pushing the tongs together and wiping one. I repeat this process until I have cleaned all of the slats. I should also say that I've put a few drops of lemon essential oil on the dusters to make the room smell fresher. Next I move on to the sofa. So here I'm going to hoover under the sofa cushions. Firstly, I'm going to open up the vacuum cleaner. Now I'm going to put a couple of drops of lemon essential oil onto a cotton bud and put this into the hoover. This helps to keep the carpets I'm hoovering smelling fresh. It only works in a bagless vacuum cleaner, however. So now I'm going to remove all of the cushions from the sofa, pick up any bits of plastic that have been kindly left by my son, and then I'm going to start to hoover up the crumbs. I like to do this job at least once a month, as my son has a little habit of eating on the sofa when he gets home from school. So I like to make sure that every so often under the sofa is clean. Finally, I put the cushions back and then I move on to cleaning the other sofa. So I do exactly the same as before. I remove the cushions, I hoover, and then I dust the sofa. Then I hoover the cushions on the floor and put everything back. While I have the vacuum out, I'm going to clean the living room floor. But that is my living room spring cleans. The products I've used in this video, I really enjoy using, and I would recommend all of them to a friend. I've not been sponsored by any of the companies to make this video. I just really enjoy using their products. All of the products I will link in the description box below for you. My spring clean of the living room done and that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. Have you been spring cleaning your home? And what products have you been using? I'd love to know. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.